So, so everyone talk about how to build a PC, but uh, nobody talk about need to do after PC is complete. So now let's like jump with the video. So the first step is actually to install Windows. If you don't know, if you buy a pre-built or a PC that is in a retailer, the Windows also will be already be installed and activated. So after you build a PC, you actually need to do that by yourself. So for that, you need a, a empty flash drive like this one. Make sure it's at least active storage and also make sure it's a USB 3.0. So if it's a USB 2.0, it will work, but things with the USB 3.0, it will be much more faster. So after you plug in the USB flash drive to your old computer, and then you need to open up any browser you one it doesn't matter and then you're just gonna type in on this 11 media tool or I'll just type in media after that you're gonna click on enter and then you're gonna get this right here download on this 11 from Microsoft you're gonna click on that then you need to get this right here so this is gonna create a USB flash drive for you just know this is really simple so if you look for this right here on this 11 installation media just know this is the one you need to download so just click on download now then you're gonna get get something like this and then you're gonna click on save you're gonna see it's gonna start downloading now we're gonna click on it and click on yes and now you're gonna get an option like this so just give it a few seconds then you're gonna get something like this so with this is gonna carry on the ESG flash drive and then make sure you always get the latest one so all the other stuff it really doesn't matter click on accept Interior USB is plugged in and over here you're gonna choose your language and also the uh, edition so for us we're gonna uh, choose the Windows 11 or if you want to do the old Windows 10 you can do that but I recommend you go with the Windows 11 and then click on next and then with here uh, there's a two option you're gonna do USB flash drive or ISO uh, make sure you do USB flash drive and then you're gonna click on next and then it's gonna already recognize a ESB drive after plug in. If it doesn't recognize it, unplug it and then I plug it back in. Then click on next. And then again, see it's gonna say installing. For this, it can take some time. And it really just depends on your, your the ESB flash drive, the if it's a ESB 2.0 or, or 3.0 or, or the and the Wi-Fi. So finally, after 10 to 15 minutes, the ESB flash drive is ready. So now we take the flash drive and then install this on a new PC. So now just turn on your PC and click F12 on your keyboard. As you can see, if this is the first time, it, this is gonna look a uh, really confusing, but just gonna ignore all of that and go on the easy mode right here. So just click on this one right here and click on easy mode. But this time it's gonna be really easy and, and simple for, for you guys. For me, there's a total of th three drive. So for me, I got one SSD, one hard drive, and then also one M.2 SSD. So if you uh, plug in a SSD or a hard drive and then it's not showing, make sure the power cable on the SSD and hard drive is uh, connected. So after that, you're gonna go to your RAM right here. For every, for most of the motherboard, it's gonna put them slot. But if you go to like a, a budget motherboard from like a 60, 70, or 80 dollar is gonna have two. So, so if you have two and then if you have two RAM, it, it's gonna be fine. But think if you have four, make sure you go with the correct one. If you have the a, a four RAM slot, so you need to install on the first one. So make sure it's a, a dual channel for a, a more a better FPS. Make sure it's on the first one and also the third one. And also it's on the R. So make sure it's on the first and the third one. Or go with the second and the fourth one. But if you have a, a four RAM, just go a for a blank, it doesn't matter. And also for RAM, make sure it, all of the RAM is same. Look at this one. For me, it's different because I do have like a different kind of RAM. So that's why the RAM speed is like a, two of them is like a 3000 megahertz. For other two is like a 2666. So that is actually important. So if you don't know all the memory RAM is gonna be on the low speed when you first build a PC. So the say you actually to change the speed and that is something called that is something called XMP. So we're gonna just exit the easy mode and then go on the advanced mode and then we're gonna look for something called XMP right here. Did you see the purple XMP? Make sure this is enabled. If this if this is disabled like 99% of the time it's gonna be disabled make sure it's in the purple one or enable after you did that that is the only thing you need all the other all, all the overclocking and stuff you guys don't need that now you're gonna click on save and exit and this time other than the saving and exiting it other than saving and exit so make sure you click on save and exit and now you're gonna go back and you're gonna come to uh, by second and this time you're gonna go on save and exit and then you're gonna click on boot over drive and then you're gonna click on the, the ESB a flash drive so you're gonna double click on that and this time other than going to your system which is the first time it's gonna go to nothing it's gonna just give you error and this time it's gonna go to the Windows setup so now you're just gonna click on install now and then it's gonna say a, a setup starting 
and now you're gonna get this right here you're gonna click on i don't have a windows key and then you're gonna choose the bobas and to install for most of most of it, it doesn't matter but make sure you go to the windows 11 home or the windows 11 pro for now i'm just gonna go to the pro and click on next then over here just click on i accept and click on next so the next step is really important so you're gonna click on custom and then you're gonna see all of your drive all the ssd and hard drive gonna show up right here and also the m.2 and also nvme so this time make sure you choose it correctly make sure once again go to ssd if you're installing the thing on your hard drive it's gonna be really slow so make sure with this one go with the ssd so after you click on next it, it can take about time it can take from 5 10 even 15 minutes to so all the step after that your pc gonna boot up and this time it's gonna go to the S setup it's gonna go to the direct windows setup so that's the setup you're gonna get if you buy a new pc or laptop so, so just go through it just know that it's a really simple so now you can just, uh, take out the flash drive because you don't need it anymore and now you're gonna go to the start menu then you're gonna click on the uh, start menu you're gonna right click on it and this time you're gonna go to the ajax manager with this it's gonna show all your ssd and the hard drive that you install and if this is the first time it's gonna look something like this as you can see it's gonna unload it you're gonna, gonna click on the new simple volume you're gonna click on next you're gonna click on next again and for the as any letter it really doesn't matter just pick a, a letter and then click on next and this is what you're gonna see for the first two just it doesn't matter make sure it's on the default so therefore the name you're gonna uh, choose the name so you click on the name you're gonna click on next and then you're gonna click on finish and then just like that you're gonna get a one way here so you're gonna get a notification right here that your ssd or hard drive is ready so now you can actually use it as you said after you, after you install it it's gonna look something like this it's gonna be empty right here if you go to this PC, you're gonna see your SSD gonna pop up or hard drive gonna pop up. So after you did that, you're good. Now the important part is installing all the uh, driver and stuff. So you're gonna, you're gonna open up any browser. This time you're gonna go to the an, a, a name of your motherboard. So if you have any motherboard, just know for every motherboard is gonna be different. So just choose the name that your motherboard has. And then it's just gonna google that that's it so now it's just gonna type in the a name of a motherboard just know the motherboard e you have for me it's gonna be different than the motherboard you got after that you're gonna click on enter and then you're gonna go to the official website and then over here you're gonna go to support so after you click on support all the driver you need is gonna be on their website so every motherboard is gonna have their own official website and after you go to their website make sure you go on the support page so that is where you're gonna get all the JAA driver you need for so first one the main ones are the audio so make sure you click on download and then it's gonna set uh, automatically pop up just click on save and for the next one is the lan so lan is for the uh, wi-fi just know for gigabyte it's like mostly is real tech and stuff make sure you get the latest one so if you see this in the future if there's a, a, a latest one always get that and, and again i do the same thing you're gonna click on download and then for other stuff it really doesn't matter except for if you have the rgb fusion if you don't know the uh, gigabyte motherboard the new ones have some something called rgb with that you can actually control all the rgb thing called like the rgb fan and stuff for that you need to install the rgb fusion that is in the utilities right here then you're gonna go right there for all the other stuff it doesn't matter and also for bios for installing a bios is a, another thing for the most of the new for the most of the new motherboard have gonna have a bios flashback so you can just you click on the one button in the motherboard and then it's gonna give you the latest bobas update but for others you actually need to come to their website get the one and then you need to put the in another usb drive so not the same one that you install windows you need to uninstall the whole thing but i recommend just getting an, a, a, another usb drive okay, make sure you put that in there and then go to the bios and update it that's not it's really simple and if you want to see the a full tutorial on how to do that make sure you just comment down below so after you install all of this file make sure you go here and click on restart after you did that now you're gonna close it and now you're gonna go to your windows update and make sure your computer is up to date Look at this, I lazy have like a 3 update right here and for I, I lazy have this PC for like 2-3 months. So just know you're gonna, just know you're gonna get a, a loss of Windows update and, and if this is the first time you can at least get like a 20 or 30 updates. So make sure your PC is up to date, it just know it's a, a, a really important for the a security and also a loss of time in, in your update. So make sure you, you click on update and after that it's gonna restart automatically. 
So after you install all the driver and also update your PC, now you need to go to, now you need to go for your GP driver. Just know for GP driver is gonna be different for your motherboard driver. Once again, you can open up any browser, and then it's just gonna type in the GP name. So for AMD, it's gonna be different. For Nvidia, it's gonna be different. So so if you have AMD GP, you just gonna type in AMD GP driver. Then click on enter. Then you're gonna get this one right here. You're gonna go through their website and then you're gonna pick the GP you got. Then you're gonna click on download. Just click on download now. And then you're gonna get this and then it's just gonna download it. As you said, it's pretty simple. Now, and if you have the NVIDIA GPU, you're gonna do the exact same thing. So just type in NVIDIA GPU driver. And then, okay, I'll use it as well. That's great. Then, then you're gonna go to their website one more time and then you're gonna install it. As you said, it's pretty damn simple. So these are all the steps you need to do after you build the PC. So just know this is a long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to my channel.